Today we have the Totem Mini Lab from Lithuania and Norway. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look at this Totem Mini Lab, which is an Arduino, uh, kind of an all in one, but not exactly, sort of lab thing. And uh, we're going to put it together, have a look at it, and see what's going on. You can order this from their site, totemmaker.net. I'll put a link to it down below. It's 89 euros, which comes out to 105 American dollars. So it's a little pricey, but hey, we'll get a look in here and see if it's worth it. All sorts of components. And I think these are plastic. And this is what the lab itself is built out of. So if you're into an all-in-one kind of solution, that's what we're going to do. Take a look at that. I'm going to put this together, and I'll be right back. Okay, so one hour into building this so far, and I've got the bottom section together. These little square nuts that hold everything together are somewhat fiddly to get in. And you have to line everything up. The instructions are pretty good, just like building with Legos. Well took me a while like hours but there she is all put together down here is the totem duino which is your uh, arduino compatible board and then it's uh, connected with this ribbon cable up here to this input output type board and then you have two breadboards here and you have all sorts of items up here. So let's uh, zoom in here. And we can take a better look. Now if we look right down here, we have our power supply section. Minus 5, 5 volts, 3.3 volts. And you also see we have ground. We have true ground, then we have shunt. And the shunt is used with the... Uh, milliamp meter, the current meter that's built into this. We have a, a digital input here for a frequency counter. It also has a pulse generator. It is quite useful. It also has a uh, voltmeter. So powered up here. And you can see I'm giving it 12 volts from my power supply. You can see our input voltage is reading 11.6. Now, what's really nice about this is if you don't have a whole bunch of test gear, this kind of gives you a bunch of test gear built in. So if I just take a, a DuPont cable here, and I want to make sure that I'm getting power down here, you know, I can plug into my DuPont cable here. Now I'm on uh, 55 or minus 5. Let's put this on 5 volts. What's wrong button? 5 volts. If I plug in here, it'll tell me we've got 4.96, 4.97. So I know that we've got our 5 volts. And again, I can come down here and check the ground rail. And it's blinking to tell me that it's shorted out directly to ground. So that's good. So what I've created here and you guys have seen this circuit many, many times, is my super simple 555 uh, A-stable multivibrator. We just have pin uh, 6 connected to pin 2, a capacitor across pins 1 and 2, and a potentiometer upside down across 8, 7, 6, and pin 4 is run high along with pin 8. And this is a, a 10K resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor which should give us about a kilohertz. Now, just to prove that it's working, I'm going to plug in a couple of leads here. That's pin three, our output pin. And there's ground. Hook it up to the oscilloscope. Pardon my voice. <clears throat> I haven't been feeling too great the last few days. We're worn out. And I bring in the oscilloscope, and you guys can see there we're getting a one kilohertz square wave. 
but you know, like you said, what if you don't have an oscilloscope? Well, that's what makes this, this little setup here pretty cool. We can come over here. <clears throat> this is the select button. Press and hold it for two seconds. It goes into frequency counter mode. Then we can plug into digital pin one right here. And you can see it's giving us a frequency of 1000. And eight hertz. That's supposed to be HZ. So I mean that is just super super cool. Now, like I said, it also has a built-in pulse generator. So let's take a look at that next. To enter into the pulse generator mode, we hold this button for a couple of seconds, and now we're in the pulse generation mode. And we can set it up. Start calibration. Good. Okay. I keep going back out of it. Okay, back. There we go, period. So we can set our period. Say 10 microseconds. Number of pulses. Three hundred pulses. And Pacal. We get that. So there's so many things like over here we have the digital outputs. Um, let's go back. Let me get out of this. Reset this here. We also have the uh, current measuring. So let's go for that one next. Okay. So to read the current. Okay, there we are in standard mode. We press the right select button. Current mode is off. Current mode is on. We need something to measure. We'll do a uh, LED which I'll plug into the 5 volt pin there and then just bring it down here to the board and then it says we need to put a shunt across these couple pins up here where it says shunt and uh, 0.5 volts that activates the current reading mode so we'll jumper them together and then we go from our cathode to the ground shunt here come on and you can see we're getting 14 milliamps on our LED so that's just uh, another of the neat things it does you can see it also does, pro you can program the power supply for how many volts you want. Pulse counter, pulse generator, you know, we play with those. And it has uh, some additional boards that you can get. So, there it is. This is the Totem Duino, and it is from Lithuania. Vilnius, Lithuania. Home of Marco Ramius. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick look at the Totem Mini Lab. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. And big thanks to Totem for sending this out for our consideration. That's it. I'm out. Peace.